Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is The Real Nathan Daly and I'm your law enforcement translator. I'm here to provide insight on difficult, difficult current event issues and topics for you guys, especially those surrounding law enforcement. Listen, this particular video we're going to be diving into you guys is in reference to a actual shooting that took place on a ring doorbell camera. This is a very unique story, you guys. The video just got released. The incident happened July, I believe, 31st. Um, but let me give you some backstory for those who might not be familiar with the situation. This is in reference to an intimate partner violence uh, scenario. And basically, you guys, this happened between uh, a young man and a young lady and her family. So before I dive into that, you guys, let me just give a special shout out. Thank you so much to the subscribers. Thank you so much to the followers and those who have joined the channel, the members. Because if you're new to the channel, please, please support the channel by hitting the like button. Uh, and if you are interested and want to join us on this journey of information gathering and truth seeking, you guys, by all means, become a member of the channel or just subscribe and share the channel. You guys, it goes a long way. So uh, listen, what happened, right? Let's talk about this. An intimate partner violence, for those who are not familiar, I did an entire stream on it. I had an amazing guest who educated the audience on intimate partner violence and also shared her personal story. I shared my stories. It was a... It was a moment you guys but intimate partner violence essentially is a more uh evolved form of domestic violence right meaning that it's actually encompasses more situations and more scenarios that normally domestic violence would not cover in reference to data gathering and facts and statistics meaning simply that intimate partner violence encompasses people who are dating uh people of all ages people who have relationships intimate or not intimate um, people who may have had children together or did not have children. It encompasses the behaviors, violent behaviors between an interaction such as stalking, physical and psychological, emotional abuse. And that data is collected so that it also encompasses people who have uh, unhealthy and toxic relationships. And then the outcomes that they have from those relationships are documented under the under the umbrella of intimate partner. All right, you guys, so let me give you some backstory in reference to this incident. This incident took place July 31st, but what happened, right? This young lady by the name of Allison Duckrow, she was out with her mom. Um, they were running errands. When they got home, like anybody else, they get behind the door, they lock the door, they go about their business. Well, they received a knock on the door and a activation of their doorbell ring camera. Well, and who was it? It's actually her ex-boyfriend slash suspect. Uh, James Rail, right? According to her, they were actually out of a relationship since 2019. And she also stated that the reason why they separated is because he started having anger issues. Um, he was uh, he was mean, he was rude, all the above, right? They didn't get along. And she stated that a big issue of his personality change and behavior issues came from his use of drugs. She alleged that he was a avid user of acid and marijuana. And so she stated that when they moved to California, that his personality and his behavior had changed, which caused him to separate. Well, now here we are. Fast forward. Where is he at? He's in front of her house. You guys, what do we call that? We call that stalking. This is one of the biggest, biggest things um, that take place with an intimate partner. Violent situations. Um, stalking is a very, very, very big component to that. And we're going to go over the data and statistics later, but I want to make sure we cover and review this video. And so what ended up happening, guys, that's the backstory, right? So the problem is James tries to force his way into uh, Allison's home. Well, Allison's mom and father is home at this time. He gets more aggressive. He gets more violent. He breaks the glass towards the door. He starts forcing himself in. He ends up breaking, uh, damaging the door, damaging the lock. And then the father is actually bracing himself against the door, trying to keep her from getting in. Um, then they say, listen, they're trying to talk to him, run the in, hey, please just leave, just please leave, or whatever, we're gonna call the police. They end up calling the police, but guess what? He ended up forcing his way in, you guys, and then the father shot him, right? So let's play the video, um, and let's see what happened. You want the porch?
A ring doorbell camera captures the terrifying moment when a woman's ex-boyfriend is shot and killed by her father. It happened on July 31st in Sydney, Ohio. Allison Duckrew says she and her mother returned home from breakfast when her ex-boyfriend approached the front door. When no one answers the door, the man starts to get physical. Through all this, Allison places a call to 911. Um, there's some guy on my front porch, and he won't leave, and he's got his hands behind his back, and he won't answer me on the ring. Okay. So he left me a voicemail on my phone last night. Where? That voicemail came from 22-year-old James Rail, who Allison says she dated several years ago. Hi, Ellie. It's James. I just uh, wanted to reach out to you um, because I uh, I just wanted to uh, see how you're doing. It's been a while since I've talked to you and I feel like it, uh, I don't know what I feel. I do know that. I do want to talk to you, though. I do. It'd be nice. It'd be sweet. Allison later tells investigators she did not return the call. And, like, he tried, he tried to contact me a couple times, and I've ignored it. And then last night, he called me at, like, 1140. I didn't answer. He left me a voicemail saying, hey, let's talk. I didn't answer him. After Rail breaks through the family's door, Allison's father, Mitchell Duckrew, calls out with a warning. Seconds later, three shots are fired in Rail's direction. Ma'am? Yeah? What's going on? He broke through the door and my dad shot at him. Ring footage shows Rail falling to the ground before dragging himself toward the family's garage. Soon after, several neighbors approach the scene. He's trying to break in and get to our daughter. Okay, well, he's not moving. He'll have a gun. He broke our door in. Did you shoot him? Yes. Okay, call me, call me. No, we're on the phone with them right now. Meanwhile, Allison remains on the line with 911 and can be heard comforting her father. I, I do the best dad ever. You just saved my yeah. life. I know, I got poor Lummy. It's gonna, it's gonna be poor Lummy. I just... No, you saved my life. Dad. You won. <laughs> As the Duckroo family stays inside the home, Neighbors outside monitor the situation. Uh, dude, I don't... You better hurry up and get in with that. Oh, my gosh. Out. Hey, did you already tell them, Alan? Yeah. I, Why are so he so close to the damn... He's gone. He's dead. Dude, he's about... He better really die. Yeah, I hear him. He's dead. He died. Several minutes after gunshots uh -huh. rang out, officers arrived to the scene. Where's the guy with the gun? That guy's dead right here. I, where's the guy with the gun? Inside the house. He's the home motor. The guy tried to break in the house. Okay. And the guy was just basically. God, so damn nosy, boy. Right here. Okay, you guys have your gun down? Yeah, yeah, we're right here. Guy... Officers enter the home and secure the weapon used in the shooting. After that, the Duckworth family the bullet explains out. Don't take the bullet how out. the situation uh, began and quickly escalated. Was he following all three of you or just you? Just you two? And you were already home? Yeah, we just came back from breakfast. Okay. Like, knew where I was. Okay. Like he just me and into my driveway. Mm. Allison tells officers she had no communication with Rail for several years until he called her out of the blue. Body camera footage also shows Allison embracing her father and later sitting next to him near the family pool. At the same time, other officers secure the situation in the front of the home and speak with neighbors. So we're here okay. next door and all this I heard the nails, gunshots so. and I seen him drop and um, invasion, Gun, the homeowner. I mean, you see a body laying there. An Ohio grand jury later declined to indict homeowner Mitchell Duckrew in the shooting based on stand your ground laws in the state. For the latest developments in this story and all things true crime, stay with- Absolutely, stand your ground, absolutely. Um, wow. What do you guys think about that? That's absolutely 100% justified. Um, hands down, no questions asked, 100%.
justify that's what stand your ground looks like that's what your your house doctrine looks like right being able to defend your home protect your home defend and protect your family that's exactly what it looks like um you know what people don't realize in reference to intimate partner violence you guys is that it is uh it's the cause of a lot of death a lot of tragedy a lot of um a lot of violence, you know, I think people are not really familiar with the data and the statistics surrounding it. But, you know, just real quick, I want to just share it with people because I think it's important. And a lot of times, you know, we just don't really know. But um, according to the CDC, when it comes to intimate partner violence, uh, sexual assault, one in five women uh, are victims of sexual assault and one in 40 men. As we know, men tend to not report these things, but this is considered, you know, sexual assault or rape um, victims within their lifetime. And uh, when it comes to stalking, according to the CDC, stalking victimization involves a pattern of harassing, harassment or threatening tactics used by a predator that causes uh, the victim to fear for their safety or the safety of others. Um, and that's we're looking at one in 10 women and one in 50 men. Uh, have experienced stalking by an intimate partner during their lifetime. Now, we know these numbers aren't going to be 100% accurate, you guys. A lot of times with these type of crimes, they go underreported, right? Um, what's the, the homicide rate when it comes to intimate partner, you guys? This is always such a big shocker to people when I share with them. But on average, you guys, on average, approximately 50%, right? 50% of women who are killed by homicide half are killed by an intimate partner right so i think that within itself is um is, is it says a lot it also says that there's a lot of work that needs to be done when it comes to intimate partner violence when it comes to um, teens and young adults and even adults who experience uh unhealthy or are in unhealthy relationships and even if you're not you know, but not just that, you have situations with people who can't detach themselves from relationships, you know, and so that's a tricky thing, right? Because how do you protect yourself from someone who doesn't let go, who doesn't move on? Um, I think a lot of times people don't talk a lot about those, uh, those soul ties, those emotional ties. And, um, you know, we have to be careful with the people we invest ourselves with people we give our attention to um and be careful of 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 not you know moving too quickly in situations um none of this is is blame on the victim right um but i think at the end of the day we all have to be mindful of the people we give our time to our um we invest ourselves into um, because when you separate from them unfortunately some people aren't mature enough healthy enough mentally or psychologically to be able to sever that connection in a mature way or in a healthy way. Um, and so that's what leads to a lot of these things too. Um, so what are your thoughts on this um, crazy, crazy video? Um, please keep the family in your prayers. Uh, the father definitely did not want to do that. You could hear it throughout the video. You know, he's constantly saying, you know, hey, stop, you know, please just walk away, go away or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to protect your family. Uh, so what are you guys' thoughts on this? i um, curious to see what you think. If you haven't checked out that video that I did on intimate partner violence, you guys, please check it out. You will not be disappointed. It was a great, great stream. A lot of great information. We covered a lot of the data and also a lot of the solutions. And again, I had a guest speaker that day. So um, anyways, with that being said, you guys, um, I hope you found this, this video insightful. Let me know your thoughts on the incident. And with that, good night. God bless.